I just finished watching Chase's video, so I thought, now, if any, would be the best time to create a response video while the ideas are still fresh in my head. Um, I don't even know where to begin with this, actually, because I feel like I've had a really similar experience, and I've been asked really, really out-of-pocket questions about everything I'm doing, but unlike Chase, I do not restrict um, who can talk to me about transition-related stuff to, like, everyone who is not my friend. Even people who are my friends, I feel like, I don't know. I have experienced a lot of the normal bullshit that, um, Chase talked about in his video in terms of medical professionals or law enforcement or other just, like, system tied to haters. That sounds really inarticulate and stupid. I'm sorry. But, <laughs> um, people working, I hate to say this, but for the man, the man likes to give me a lot of shit, um, but my own friends have been some of the most, the, the comments from them have been some of the most detrimental and hurtful, because I expect them usually to know better, um, I have had a few instances where my friends have asked me just, like, really fucking out-of-pocket questions, or, like, commented on my transition in ways that they would not normally comment on, like, anyone else's body. Like, uh, I've had friends comment on, like, the facial hair I'm growing, or, like, the way my voice has changed, or, um, uh, asking me if I want to go to the gym with them, and when I tell them I don't want to go to the gym, they have asked me if I don't want to go to the gym because, like, I feel inferior at the gym, and I don't want to go to the gym because I hate the fucking gym. I just don't like working out indoors. Like, I also really just like working out amongst cis people, but I also don't like working out indoors. Like, the fact that my friend assumes that, like, yes, it was translated, but the fact that they assume that it was because I felt inferior is speaking to a sense of this privilege that sometimes even our own friends fucking have. Um, I see it everywhere. I see it in people who think they can ask me inappropriate questions about, like, what I do sexually. That is usually the question, because people seem to be hung up on whatever the fuck trans people are doing sexually. I don't know why, like, when people tell me, like, not tell me, when people ask me about what I'm doing sexually, I'm just tell I usually just tell them that I am extremely satisfied and I have a lot of sex because I'm in testosterone and I leave it at that. Like, the mechanics of what goes on, especially because my partner is also trans, um, we get a lot of stupid, stupid ass questions about what we do together. But that's beside the point, and cis privilege is what I'm trying to talk about. Um, but cis privilege, even amongst our friends, I feel like I feel like I don't want to be me saying everything she said because I'm responding to his video. But I felt that I needed to give some input because not everyone has. I don't want to say the openness because I do have the openness with my friends, but like the willingness to subject themselves to that sort of scrutiny, even amongst their friends. I know I should responsibly have it, because I expect more of my friends than I do from this society. I expect more from queer people and other trans people uh, than I do. Like, when I leave my house, or when I leave my bubble, or when I get the hell off Tumblr, which is never, but when I do those things, I have different expectations for what my interactions in the world will look like, and that's based all on this privilege. The fact that people can ask me questions about my body, about what I'm doing with my body, what my plans for my body are. I mean, as shitty as it is, it's not always detrimental. Because sometimes people's idiotic assumptions help. I would be lying if I said that people's assumptions about my body, because of the way I'm presenting on it, like, haven't been evident. Um, I am pretty sure that because I was perceived a certain way. Um, a lot of my uh, transition-related stuff in regards to my gender marker um, and my gender being legally changed uh, were based off of assumptions, off of surgeries and weird things, and uh, surgeries that I haven't had, but surgeries that the people in power assumed I had or was planning to, or was am planning to have or were. I don't even know the tense of that shit. But surgeries that people are assuming that I'm going to have uh, allowed me to expedite the process. And I am still on the fence about whether I want to do those things, but that shit has changed now, so there ain't shit they can do about it, and thank you for the assumption. Um, but I just wanted to briefly touch on the fact that there are 
some people who don't even have their friends to tell them that shit. And for any cis people watching this, I wanted to make this really apparent. Um, that although Chase might be okay with his friends asking him personal questions about his transition, I am not. And a lot of other people are not. And I mean, it's, tough, it's a tough subject because I'm always, always willing to talk about whatever the hell I am doing. But um, there's a time and a place for it. And I feel like if I want to talk about those things, I will bring them up. And I don't think I should be scrutinized or even chastised for not talking about them. Because it's not necessarily living in stealth or being secretive or trying to keep my friends out of my process. It's making the process it's allowing myself the time to make the process more palatable to this people because it's enough of a challenge for them to grasp what the fuck I'm doing. Alright, I'm running on six minutes, so I'm going to shut the F up and leave that at that.